There's nothing better than getting together with your family, regardless of whether it's your family by blood, marriage, or one you've chosen for yourself. A good time is sure to be had by all. The Thompson family is no different, and our family edict of love has come straight from the top, a.k.a. our family matriarch, my mother-in-law, Mary Thompson, and she's here today to show us how we can DIY our own homemade vanilla. That's the perfect way to impress at your next family gathering. Yeah. And we sure did that recently. We did that. Yes, we, uh, yeah. you've been making vanilla, and we used it. Are you ready for this? Okay. At the family reunion, are you ready? Uh-huh. White Russian ice cream. Oh, wow. Every Norwegian there loved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We thought about changing the name, yeah. right? That is great. So is that what gave you the idea to uh, to do this more often? Do you always, when did yeah. you start doing this? Uh, my sister and I are kind of adventuresome cooks. We yeah. like, okay. see a recipe, let's just try that. Yeah. And then we thought about vanilla. I don't know, one of us was out or something. So uh -huh. we said, I wonder how we well, can make it. Well, if we have vanilla bean. So yeah. away we went and we started with um, a bourbon one. Okay. And made white Russians. Yeah. Ice wow. cream. Okay, so you can make it out of a variety of different alcohols. I think so. Yeah, well, we. <laughs> I know bourbon. Okay. These are trials. Okay, we're trying this. Yep. But what makes a pure vanilla, for example? What, what does it have to, what qualifies it as that? Okay. Um, vanilla beans. Okay. And they are good quality vanilla beans. And alcohol okay. is basically. All. The alcohol um, needs to be at least 35%. So most vanillas are 35 to 40%. Right. I'm now understanding. So <laughs> the, the beans are <laughs> Just, soaking in here. Yeah. In like the uh, bourbon whiskey, the beans are soaking in it. Yes. And that's the vanilla bean that you use to make the cream. Yep. And so in, in real life, every vanilla that, that you buy at the store is going to have alcohol in it too. You're, you said Correct. yes. Okay. Correct. Oh, I did not realize so that. So we're going we're gonna to make one, right? And we're yep. going to make it in here? Yes. Okay, so this is easy. What it is easy. See? All right, you can <laughs> okay. open it up, pop that open. This, how um, how long do they need to, so need to soak in it? Well, a couple of weeks minimum. Wow. Yeah. But okay. months is better because it mellows yeah. and yeah. it gets, gets it better. more oh, of a wow. natural sweetness. Um, a lot of the vanillas, like McCormick vanilla, mm -hmm. they actually add some cane sugar okay. simply to make it taste a little better. I yeah. see. But so how so, many should we put in here? Yeah. So this mm. is, we got these vanilla beans. I put like. How many are left in that? Maybe eight? Okay. Okay. So and you've got these online, but you can get them locally too, but it's actually more yes. affordable than you think. Yes, I think those were 50 of them for $33. Really? So, and you can make I mean, as you know, as you know, uh, the, the little bit bottle of vanilla oh, in the store is very. Got expensive. pretty full. I might have needed to take a swig out first. You, might be, you still can. <laughs> well, oh, I should have mentioned about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might <laughs> that what happens with the volume? Bro. Take a little, uh, little spoonful out. We got that. Okay. And then just that's all there is to it. Yeah. Now you and we'll put a date on it and oh. stuff. So oh, yeah. good idea. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. You know what she likes to do sometimes? Sometimes it tells us a family secret. <laughs> oh, I pulled up. Here we, we go. Pull a box, Here we go. Container of buttermilk out of the fridge one day, and the expiration date was crossed out, and there was a new one written on there. <laughs> how does that work? Lindy and I said that is not how these work. <laughs> Pick your own expiration date. <laughs> no. That's great. Uh, and there was a, she had a reason. It was you. You just it's used a story. Yeah, you were out, and you had an old container. But like it was a, out. a oh, okay. paper one. <laughs> so she but went I, over. This was a high quality plastic one. Yeah. Oh. So I just wanted to use. <laughs> that. You went over and got some. That's the only one. That's pretty hilarious. That. She's the one that knew that. We were like, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now you, you set, set those aside. And now when you go ahead and make this, which you've been twisting away at this to make these creams, what you cream? pull it from the actual um, infused bean, right? Well, and she's just making whipped cream here. Oh, and then we and then we're, it later? We, we're, she, yeah, just make regular whipped cream, and then we added, we added some of these different kinds. Of the vanilla. God, I when you make whipped cream, you just use yeah. normal vanilla. So this alcohol tastes kind of like vanilla extract? Well, we're going to try, but first, I want to tell us. Yeah, well, you're going to tell us. So, but you did a cost analysis of this, too. So oh, I want to yeah. share that, because you actually, this is significantly cheaper in most cases to make in your most own. cases, yes. Yeah. And more delicious, we're going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, oh. do you think we should taste it in the whipped cream first, or should we taste it plain first? I think if you taste this plain, it will be icky. Okay. <laughs> but, but it might be but we a might, telling okay. thing. So this is... Um, oh, I'll do this last one. Too. Okay, you do, yeah, you're going to get that yeah, started. Yeah, let's see the process. Should, okay, and 
Mm. Although now Mitchell's going to know which one's which. He can't do a blind. Yeah, okay. So this has got regular test. vanilla in it, Mitchell. Okay. This is just your store bought mm -hmm. vanilla extract. Yep. Delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got more things. This is the bourbon one. Here. So this is the bourbon is this version. Be annoying. It, no, we, you go. Okay. Yeah, you got to work for that. Mm -hmm. Let me get in the oh yeah, good idea. Okay. Far better. Tell it a little. Mm -hmm. And you can taste it. Yeah. But I would assume that the different alcohols have different flavors, which work well for different toppings, for different mm -hmm. things. You know, one might work better for an apple crisp. One yeah. might work better for, you know, is that how you look at it? There, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's this one, are you done with that yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is, um, this is the that? vodka one. This one? No, oh, oh, I went that one. That one? Okay. It is different. It's got more of an aftertaste. You can kind of taste it a little later. Yeah. A little bit a little bit cleaner though. Yeah. I would say. I would say. Does it matter if the bottle is plum full or not? I mean I guess. <laughs> well she's been using it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that over time. Okay. And then we thought oh. we'd also mix up a march an espresso okay. martini with it, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Another part of it too is that we started this one, a lot oh longer. gosh, in June or something, okay. and then added mm -hmm. more bourbon and a few more oh, beef. Kind of. That's a really good point. So over time, you can add a bit more, and um, because it's going to get really infused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down yeah. towards the bottom, it's going to be pretty strong. Now this is going to be good in a cocktail. Which one do you think we should we should put a, do a drop in it? Right. This one probably. What do Go you think? Go for it. Okay, we got it. And you, oh, you put a little I'm just going to put the dollop. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't use that. Oh. <laughs> okay. And now you're going to make a brandy one. Yeah. Okay. Which, and what do we think I should do for the whipped cream on I this? I think I already put some in. Yeah. <laughs> make it better. I haven't even had this yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the spiced rum on here. And we've got 10 seconds. And we got to try these cocktails. Okay. Cheers to the best mother-in-law there ever was. Wow. Thank you. Happy times. Let's see. Well, that's delightful. Mm. Huh. Don't, don't go anywhere. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> More Carolina Living coming up after this. Stay with us. <laughs>